Hello, it's raining still, and I'm Todd the Librarian, and uh, this is a discussion about the novels that I've written. Um, some people have, you know, wondered why I haven't published and all this, and I have self-published, but uh, just... Um, writing for me has been a just something I've enjoyed doing. Um, I have tried to get some agents. I have. Hang on a second. It's hard to sort all this crap out. <clears throat> oh, by the way, Marsha D. I, we did redecorate. I have a another fly catcher back there. So. Anyway, here's a bunch of rejections. That's completely full of them. There's another one, but uh, <clears throat> I have been trying, but anyway, don't want to make this video too long because that's not what I'm about. This is a quick discussion about the books that I've written. Uh, the first book that I started on was The Dead Storm, which you can see some scribbles on that page. One of my kids got a hold of it um, when they were really young, but uh, I started this novel back in the late 80s and I got up to 300 and at least 35 pages because I, I write everything out in longhand so it's about reanimation and a bunch of other stuff about uh, a guy who goes back to Kentucky after living up north and finds out there's a bunch of crap going on on the uh, the uh, acreage that he inherited so but I bailed on that and I went to um, I started writing a novel called The Stronger which is loosely based on a there, there used to be a stray dog that came into my grandpa's house and it scared all the grandkids <coughs> and one of the grandkids called <coughs> called it The Scrong well he said he was he, he had a speech impediment, so Grandpa told him the dog was going to get him. Justin's like, no, I'm stronger, so the stray dog became known as the stronger dog, so that's how this became a novel. And in this novel, there's uh, interdimensional travel. There's a place called the Libra Sphere where the balance of good and evil is stored, and they have... Uh, ent entities that try to uh, keep that balance and um, anyway it's about a family the guy's rich and but his daughter is crippled she's uh, uh, she has cerebral palsy and she befriends a dog out in the woods and the dog's not what it appears to be so I'm going to read you part of the prologue some people don't like prologues I do there were shadows in the forest shifting pockets of darkness that concealed things from the denizens of the daylight. Most of these pockets, torn from the dark flesh of the night, were empty and benign, but one was not. One played host to a malignant thing, a thing that emerged from blackness and cast its malevolent gaze downward. It glared at the three figures below and then retreated into the darkness, the same way a bloated maggot might retreat into a chunk of rotted flesh. It waited there, feeding not on the darkness, but on the promise of what lay below. It began to salivate. Thick yellow slobbers dripped from its lower jaw and began to form a stinking, anxious pool near its misshapen feet. The pool grew, keeping pace with the thing's hunger. Still it waited, but it didn't have to wait for long. So that's from the Scronger. So that was actually the first novel that I completed. Um, I think it came out to be, I don't know how many words. And then after that, it kind of <clears throat> kind of meshes together. And uh, there's The Vulnerable Gods, which I have self-published. Uh, this is about time travel and Neanderthals and a bunch of good stuff that happens to a small town in Kentucky. College town, by the way. And then there's the House of the Gods, which I'm going to try to publish this year. Well, I'm running out of time. And it's about an expedition that goes to the Grand Savannah in Venezuela. 
and with isolation you know it's easy to create the atmosphere that you want for a horror novel so um, that one like I said I'd like to get published within a month or two but we'll see how that goes I have it written it's been written for a while and then after that there's uh, Grey Sun the Colored Rain which is The novel which I'm the most proud of, I can't self-publish this because it would cost people a fortune to buy it. It's like a hundred and some thousand words. It's about life in a segregated coal camp, circa 1912, and corrupt law enforcement. And just It's just a great, I'm so proud of this book. And then after that, that's that's historical fiction. Uh, once again, stuff kind of starts melting together. Uh, have the Strand Wolf, um, which is completed, and I write everything out longhand and stuff like that. And I was going to publish this one, but I didn't do it. I still probably will at some point. But it's about um, kind of hard to explain. I'm trying to revamp the werewolf thing and uh, you just have this whole hierarchy of <laughs> I really can't describe it I mean it's just uh, if the book ever comes out you'll you'll see and then after that there is uh, crap let me see if I can find it <clears throat> carbon which is about uh, hang on I gotta look at my notes over here you see this stuff hanging on the wall, this is all, that's police procedures, this is all character development. I draw maps of all my towns where stuff, you know, takes place because you, you have to have locations to go to. But Carbon is about uh, uh, six soldiers who return from Iraq and they return to the town of Broken Ring and there's no one there after the bus drops them off. So. They have to figure out what's going on. So that's carbon. I I want to publish that too. But. Okay. After that one is uh, the Gospels of Equus, which I have somewhere around here. Not quite sure where. Yeah, here it is. And no, I didn't just write. Stuff on notebooks or books in here, written on both pages. This one is completed. I, that's just a rough draft. And this is about uh, a bunch of people from different religious backgrounds that get together and uh, decide they're gonna seek some justice. Um, and that's pretty much it. So uh, that's the rundown on. Uh, my novels that are written, I have some other crap laying around here that I haven't finished. I have a bunch of short stories that haven't been published, but uh, I just write because I like writing. Uh, if anything ever comes of it, freaking fantastic. If not, so be it, but this one's available. I'll try to make some more available. No pressure. If you don't want it, go buy it. It's time travel. This collection of short stories not that bad. I didn't like the way it came out. Uh, the novella at the end, Immortel Fortis, which is about people seeking um, this drug on a swampy planet, is in such fine print. Uh, I was trying to make a cheap book. didn't work out that way. So. Anyway, thanks for your time. That's a bunch of stuff that I've written. You know, we'll see where it goes. Um, but uh, cheers to all y'all. <laughs> if you stuck around this long, thanks. Um, I was getting bored myself talking about my novels. But anywho, bye.